piece of meat? This one? Yeah. Which one? It doesn't matter. This is uh, pork, and then this is um, pork too. <laughs> no, just give me this one. This one. You guys, he has food, okay? Don't act like I, I do. Eat. I have a don't, sandwich, but I saw it and it looks so good. Don't act like I don't feed you. <laughs> oh! Babe, you can have it. No, I'm getting that next time. Are you sure? Mm hmm. You can have it. Oh, love you. Okay. That's so good. Bye, have fun playing your video game. Love you. Love you. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing an unexpected late night mukbang. I literally only ate one thing today, and I was like, ooh, that's not going to sit right in my stomach. Um, that would be our trash can. <laughs> it's okay. We need a new trash can. It's like breaking down on us. Comment down below. Do you guys have a good trash can you recommend? Uh, we like the ones where you can step on it and then put your trash in. Aside from that. Um, yeah, I only ate one thing today, and it was raw. It was like raw salmon. So... I was like, that's not going to sit in my stomach well. My stomach was just not built for something like that. I should have had something beforehand. Um, and I know if I don't eat something, my stomach is going to go crazy later on tonight. So, today, we are having Vietnamese food. I'm so excited, you guys. We have broken rice here. And then we have vermicelli with pork. We have spring rolls, egg rolls, and then also shrimp wrapped in egg rolls. I am so so excited. You guys know I'm full Vietnamese. I love Vietnamese food. I love sharing my culture with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started because I am starving. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Also, I ordered this to go, as you guys can tell. <laughs> so let's get started. What should we start with? Well, I guess we already got started. Oh, look at all these sauces. We have the peanut butter sauce for our spring rolls. We have nook mum. And then we also have, I think, nook mum spicy. I want to start with the spring rolls. Mmm. Usually my mom's peanut butter sauce is way thicker. Start with the spring roll here. Now I've taught you guys before how to do this. Do you guys remember? Look at that baby. Oh my god. <gasps> you know what? Oh, this is the thick version. Mmm. Mmm. This is Nook Mum. That's sweet and sour sauce, but diluted. So it looked like fish sauce. Mmm. Oh, I love when they add an egg in. Usually there's pork in um, traditional Vietnamese spring rolls. It's vermicelli, vegetables, uh, shrimp, and um, steamed pork. But there's no pork in this one. Mm. To be honest, the fish sauce could be better. A little bit too much lime. Mmm. Peanuts. This is a vermicelli. Oh my gosh, you guys. One of my favorite dishes. It's just vermicelli white noodles, uh, daikon and carrots shredded up, lettuce, cucumbers, 
pork. Sometimes uh, they'll put egg rolls in there. Um, chicken, shrimp, and then we also have some bean sprouts here. So, it always comes with fish sauce. I'm gonna pour it in, because that's really gonna give you the seasoning. Because the only other thing that's seasoned is literally your meat. Then you wanna mix it all up. Mix your veggies in there. guys mm. ever see this on a menu at a Vietnamese place please get it check it out hopefully they made it right it's so good great way to get a lot of veggies whenever my mom makes this I'm like mom fill the bowl up with half greens and the other half noodles and then meat. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's good. And if you've never had fish sauce before, they're not it's not that strong. So good. I love all the colors too. Very vibrant. Honestly, if your fish sauce isn't good and your meat isn't seasoned well when you grill it, it ruins the dish a little bit. I've been seeing some comments under um, my videos about my smacking. And I do want to apologize to anybody who thinks that I'm purposely trying to smack. I'm really not. I think it's just part of the way that I eat. And I really do try to be cautious about the way that I eat in my mukbangs. Because I never want it to come off as disgusting or like, um, you know, too messy. I like to be a really neat eater, like ever since I was a little girl. Plus, my mom would kill me if she watches my videos and like, why are you eating like that? But, um, yeah, I do apologize. I don't know. I don't know when I smack. It's just part of the way that I eat because I really like to taste every single thing in my mouth that I eat. Um, I don't do it on purpose, so I do apologize. It's just something that naturally happens. Hopefully, I don't smack too much. Just let me know, <laughs> and I'll try to be more cautious about it. Mm.
It's good. I love bean sprouts. All water. So good. The meat is uh, seasoned so well, you guys. I love it. Oh, this is going to be a big bite. Mmm. Wow, so good. I'm so happy, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Comment down below. Let me know if you know what I'm drinking. <laughs> it's, my, it's my favorite drink in the world. Mm. Let's try some of these um, shrimp egg rolls. Look kind of cool. Literally, just the egg roll outside, wrap around a shrimp. Hmm. That's good. These dishes bring me back to my childhood, you know? How are we gonna eat this rice here? I love Vietnamese broken rice. You know why? They give you the whole thing. You can suck on them bones. Ooh, put the egg over here. Ooh, they used to give me kimchi, but I don't see any here. Dang, that's disappointing. Okay, though, we're very grateful for today's food. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. This place knows how to season food or season their meat. Nick Mum? I love my nigma. I'm gonna add the veggies in. Mm. Mm. 
Wow. This isn't usually how you eat it. You put everything on a plate and you kind of mix it up and eat the meat as you go. But since this is a little bit too, like this is a to go portion, I gotta make it happen somehow. Broken rice in Vietnam, you, it can be eaten in the morning, lunchtime, dinner time, late night, anytime. I feel like in the Vietnamese culture, there's really not like certain dishes that's made for breakfast, made for lunch, made for dinner. You know, and like when I grew up in, when I was growing up in America, when you think breakfast, you think what? Pancakes, uh, waffles, French toast, eggs, bacon, sausage, ham, hash browns, um, any types of uh, cute potatoes. That is specifically breakfast food. In Vietnam, these are what the kids eat when they before they go to school. Just a plate of broken rice. And over in Vietnam, it's probably like a dollar for a plate. Super inexpensive. That's why I always say, you want to have a good vacation and eat really good and really explore our culture, definitely check out Vietnam. And the beautiful thing about Vietnam is you can start from the north to the middle of the country to the south or the south to the middle to the north and you will experience completely different cultures, completely different ethics, different food flavoring, everything's just so different. So good. Also, I'm not sure if if you're Vietnamese you can tell, but the South, people who live in the South, people who live in the middle, and people who live in the North, they all have different accents. So my family, we're from the South. We are from Ho Chi Minh City. My mom was born in Bendai. Um, so we have a southern accent. Now, if you don't know the Vietnamese uh, language, you won't be able to like kind of depict it, depict it, but it's super cool. I've personally never been to the north. I would love to go one day. I love a good fried egg. Oh good. Oh. This is why I can't live anywhere else but Orange County, you guys. I gotta live near Orange County. I gotta have authentic Vietnamese food. You know what? Let's do use a spoon. Mmm. So good. I love grilled meat. Such a weakness. I 
I cannot wait to move. The first thing that we are going to buy is a barbecue grill. Oh my gosh. Some apartments, they allow you to have, um, oh, my AC just turned on. I apologize if the sound. <laughs> Some apartments, they allow you to have a barbecue grill on the balcony, but ours definitely doesn't. They think it's a hazard, which I totally understand. Um, so I've been, I've been missing it. You guys know I'm a bone cleaner. I clean my bones until there's no meat. Wow, wow, wow. See, there's some meat. See, some people would throw this away. <laughs> some people would throw this away. But if you bend the meat, I mean, if you bend the bones, twist them, there's meat in between here. You know, I realize I think I'm the only one in my family that cleans the meat other than my mom. But my mom's getting older now, so she can't really, like, go ham with her teeth, you know? So it's up to me. My brother doesn't clean it for sure. It, like, irritates me every time I'm at the dinner table with him. I'm like, oh, my God, let me clean it for you. Even though I don't, not my thing. I, yeah, not my thing. Maybe when I have kids one day and they don't clean their bones, I'll clean after them. But I don't even think my sisters clean their bones. Oh, my sister-in-law does. My brother's wife, she cleans her bones. Mm. I'm a really good rib eater. <laughs> you guys tell? Every time we go to Lucille's, which is, if you guys have a loose eels by you, definitely check them out. They have the best ribs ever, in my opinion. I love their ribs. I clean all the meat off ribs. Also, chicken wings. My mom always taught me not to waste food, you know? So, I grew up with this mentality. You gotta eat everything. Because there are so many people that we don't think about and so many people that we don't know about, we haven't met yet, but there's so many people in the world who don't even just have a cup of water. And I think as I was growing up, um, my mom would take me back to Vietnam and we would save and save and save our money and we would do, um, we would like buy food, like packages of food or what I did one year when I was little, the first time I ever did this, I saved up, when was this? This was in high school. 
I think it was like sophomore or junior year of high school. It was my first time saving up money and I saved up a thousand dollars during the school year and that summer my mom and I went to Vietnam and we bought over a thousand backpacks and school supplies and we passed them out excuse me I'm so sorry we passed them out at a local school and it was the best experience ever and I always told myself when I have kids one day that's what Carlos and I want to do we want to give back as much as we can and we want to share the experiences like the ones that my mom shared with me with our kids because I think it's so important to teach your kids how to be humble and how to be grateful for every single little thing in their life because you just never know you never know as quick as you get something you can lose it just as fast That's why when I started doing mukbangs, I was like, I gotta share my food. <laughs> like, my brother knows that every time or every single day when I film a mukbang, like, he's gonna get food, you know? Why not? So good. thank you so much for joining me tonight for this very delicious dinner I'm so glad that I got to share this meal with you guys thank you so much for watching my videos and loving me and supporting me and showing me so much love and kindness I hope that you get to come across these dishes these Vietnamese dishes in your lifetime I hope they're good I hope they're authentic I hope they taste delicious please let me know if you've ever tried any of these in the comments down below Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Share with your friends and family. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe. Join the family if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> and also subscribe to my other channel where I post other videos as well. I have it all linked down below. I will see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video tomorrow afternoon. I'll talk to you guys then. Bye, my loves.